Today's video, I'm going to be showing you the easiest blitz to run in Madden 24, and in my opinion, one of the best. The cool part about this blitz is really not a lot of setup to it, and it's really simple to create really nice coverage defenses behind it, as well as, you know, to create different run defense concepts and all of that. And this is out of the dollar three two six formation in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook is pretty much the best defensive playbook in Madden 24 because it is dollar and 6-1. Six 6-1, one. Six one, I think, being, if not the best defense, the second best defense in dollar, either being the first best defense or the second best defense. But anyways, with that, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our audibles here into this coverage to drop spot, and we're going to put the play free safety blitz, uh, free safety zone blitz. So as you can see here, we're just going to select that play and put it right in that little position. And then we're going to come out in that double safety blitz go. But really important, before you do that, make sure your auto flip is off and make sure your auto alignment is set to base. This is going to really help the blitz come in, but it's also going to help the coverage defense behind this be as effective as possible. So we're going to be coming out in the play double safety blitz or double safety go. And we're going to be audibly to free safety zone blitz as soon as we break the huddle. So what you're going to see is we're going to audible and nobody's going to move, but we have changed our defensive plays and that's pretty much the blitz setup. And then all you have to do from here is just basically stand just like here, just like we would if we were running maybe DB fire two out of the same look. And now what you're going to see is this blitz is going to scream right up the a gap. Now the beauty of this blitz screaming right up the a gap is it's going to make it so that it's hard for your opponent to be able to escape the pressure. Now, one of the things that they might do to try to escape the pressure is they might try to roll out. So if they're trying to roll out on you a lot, what I like to do is just hit R1 twice, which is going to QB contain. I love to pass commit when I'm running this defense if there's no threat of a run or if it's not a running situation. And what you're going to see is now if they try to roll out, they're going to roll right into the contain on the left side of the screen. Now, another little kind of advanced way to run this defense that I think is kind of an underrated way to run this defense would be to use shading based off situations. So, for example, here I'm playing, you know, the Colts bunch. So one of my favorite adjustments is we're going to shade underneath and then we're going to deep half this guy on the left side, which will take away double post. And then you have a choice with that slot corner. You can either leave him in that hard flat on the left or you can feel free to put him in an, a curl flat. And then on the right side, you can also leave that outside third. Or if you want him to play the tight end wheel, you can put him in an outside quarter. So these are some ways that you can kind of adapt this blitz to fit a really, really meta offense and really arguably probably the best offense this year. And the cool part is, let's say you're in a situation where, you know, you're, let's say it's like third and 17. All you're going to do is you're just going to shade underneath and then you're going to shade over top. And that's going to put these cloud flats on the field. Now, the beauty of these cloud flats is one of the most popular route combinations in the game this year is this little double corner route. What you'll see with these cloud flats is they will actually typically be able to play that. Now, in that situation, didn't quite able to play that. But again, that's, you know, in my, it's going to play a little bit better than that. And also, if you want to, you can feel free to shade outside. Now, the one thing I did want to say about the shade outside is it moves that corner on the left over to the right side against, against a bunch for some reason. So that's something you need to be aware of, and I'll show you how to fix that. So let's say you want to run this defense and you want to shade over top and outside, but you don't want the guy to move. What you're going to do is you're just going to re-curl flat. So you're going to curl flat your slot corners, shade outside, underneath, and over top. And now you have those cloud flats there. And now what should happen is let's say they run, you know, kind of the double corner that everybody likes to run. Now the cloud flat's gonna play a little bit more to the outside, as you can see over there to the right, and he's gonna be able to take that away. Another really underrated thing that you can do if you wanted to be in a maximum coverage defense, and I think one of the best aspects of this is the ability to kind of change the coverages quickly. What we can do here is you can shade underneath, which is gonna put your hard flats on the field. You can then put your middle of the field safety into a middle third. You can put your linebacker into a hook curl, you would want to then blitz your user, and then you can take this guy on the right side and put him in a curl flat. Now, the cool part about this is if you put that slot on the left in a curl flat as well, then all you got to do is shade outside, and then you're going to be able to make this really a nice little almost double Mabel defense or uh, Mabel coverage to the left with a hook curl defender in the middle of the field where you can then be free to be able to use her at a pretty high level. So this defense, there's a lot you can do with it. It's why a lot of people are running this right now. One of my other favorite adjustments is to just put this little vert hook out here. I think this vert hook, when you shade that underneath, it's going to play the quick throws really, really well. And then you can obviously go use the tight end. But that's how the blitz works 
one of the best blitzes in the game. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to get my entire defensive ebook on this or really any of my offensive or defensive ebooks, become a Patreon member today for just $10. The link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description below.